y'all, so before I start this video, I want to let you know it's in collaboration with my friend Courtney. We have been friends since the very beginning. She did a collab with me when I was very itty bitty channel and she reached out to me and asked if I would collab with her and I said absolutely. I'm going to let her introduce herself here. I usually don't do that, but for her, I will absolutely do it. Here she is. Hey you guys and welcome to Mama Makes It Happen. My name is Courtney and on my channel, I like to do cleaning motivation, cleaning organization, all things cleaning someday in the life vlogs so if you get time please come and check out my channel after watching this beautiful mama i hope to see you soon bye good afternoon <laughs> good afternoon i have spent the better part oh y'all don't want to see all that mess in there let me get i have spent the better part of my day homeschooling and editing it is now like 12 noon yeah and i'm just starting a day in life <laughs> so but I, I still have a lot to do i've only i've only done colton and cameron's school i have not done the girls school yet because colton needed to get his work done sooner because he finally made a little friend and she gets to come out in the afternoons so he woke up at like five o'clock in the morning got all his chores done did all his school and then by 12 he was done and he was out i still have to do the girls school though because while colton was doing his independent work i was working with cameron and then i was editing my video that goes up tonight which you guys will already have seen it's a bathroom makeover oh hey hi what's up my name is marina <laughs> um i'm scatterbrained i'm a hot mess express and i'm awkward and we embrace it. We embrace the awkwardness and the hot mess life, the the trailer park life. We embrace it. But I got a lot of stuff. So basically what I was trying to say is, hey, my name is Marina. <laughs> um, I'm just going to bring y'all along with me. Well, let's see what we can get into. So I just got done with the girls school. And I remembered that a bunch of you guys wanted, saw this in my last cleaning video. And you guys wanted like the me to break down what I have on here. Well, I have this leaf. <laughs> this is here. Oh my God. <laughs> oh no. Hold on. I had that leaf there. Um, but I, I told you guys that I would break it down. So up here, I literally <laughs> have games. There's like no system to it, y'all. This ain't the Konhari or whatever. Konjari, Kompadari. This ain't that Cardi B. This, <laughs> this isn't that kind of organization. This is the Marina organization. Look at that up there. Dang it. Okay. OCD. Calm down. So I have my sprays up here where I can't reach it hardly, which is why I stank half the time. I got my candles up here and I have to, every like time I need a new one, I have to get shamed because I can't, this is almost tiptoes. I can't get it. So I got my, all my candles up there, which y'all know I love my great value candles. This one's my favorite of all time. So here, Shane's put this here. Dang it. I didn't even look this over before I got on here to tell you, talk to you guys about it. Okay, so here are some of the books like that I read aloud to the kids. Um, Colton also has the option to come. This is that's not poop, that's stain. Um, Colton also has the option to come in here and read these if he wants to. He rarely does. This is his section that he goes for um, when he wants to read something. Which why are all these? Oh my gosh! Hold on a second. Let me get this together and I'll be back. Like I was saying, there's literally no system to this at all. But I've got their Hardy Boys Hardy Boys collection right here. The Laura Ingalls collection. We got Where the Red Fern Grows, which I'm kind of waiting a little while. Because I know when I read that, man, I squalled. So I kind of want to make sure they're at a certain level mentally before I introduce them to that. Um, we have some Nancy Drew, because I really want to get them started on those. I loved those as a kid. The Silver Donkey. We tried reading this once before. It was not that interesting, but I'm keeping it just in case we need to go up a few levels. You know what I mean? Like maybe when Colton's at a certain level, he'll find it interesting. Also, it's a book in our library collection, which is ever growing. And honestly, we used to have a way bigger collection than this. And I took them to a uh, bookstore and donated them. I really wish I hadn't because I had some good books in that collection. We just didn't have the room for them. Now, with all of us homeschooling and having all the curriculum and all the stuff, like, we have, we had to make room. I don't like this being in my room. It's kind of an eyesore. But honestly, it's the most practical option right now. Um, I have some games. I just have this in here because I couldn't fit it over here with all the educational games that we have. We have all kinds of educational games and cards back in there. 
And then we have this, which is a hit with my kids. If you guys have kids who are kindergartners, pre-K, this is awesome. Honestly, my first graders, they still love to play this. And Colton likes to play it with them too. So it's it's fun. It's not expensive either. I think you can find it on Amazon for like psh, between five and 10 bucks. It's not expensive. Here's some more of our chapter books that I read aloud to them. We just got packs. We got The Outsiders. That was one of my favorite books as a kid. I read it over and over and over again. The Book Thief, I used to be really into middle grade books and uh, young adult books, and this is one that was rec to me all, recommended to me all the time. I never got to read it, so I need to proof it. I proof all of our books before I read them, just to make sure there's no dirty language or anything like that, because we don't do that in this house. Uh, the Jungle Book, which Colton just finished reading himself, and he loved it. Got our games right here. This bucket is full of all things extras. So we have some erasers for whiteboards in here we have some staples some extra pens some extra dry erase markers for whenever the ones that we have out go dry we have notepads in here we have extra pencils in here staplers rulers anytime they need something for their paces that they don't have in these buckets right here this is where they come to to find it it's not organized but it's all where it needs to be and that's all that matters they know where to come to get it they just gotta dig a little bit for it <laughs> and then we have our buckets Cameron doesn't have a bucket because his you guys know his work is mostly hands-on and it's very interactive very minimal paperwork he can't read write or spell he can write numbers one through uh, 13 to 15, 14 to 15, or iffy sometimes. He can write those and identify those. Um, so we, we still try to work on handwriting and stuff, but most of his handwriting is practiced on whiteboards. He has his own whiteboard and markers and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, baby, you tell him. I don't know what he was telling SpongeBob something, buddy. Um, <laughs> we, the girls have this handwriting packet in here, and they have another handwriting thing in here all of their paces have not been added into here because we share one grade one set of paces so they don't write in the paces they write separately like on a separate piece of paper that way that we can utilize one four hundred dollar pack of curriculum for two kids so we're not spending eight hundred dollars for curriculum just four hundred dollars you can save four hundred dollars that's an easy way to do it if you have ones on the like kids on the same grade just buy one and either print it print off like copy and print off the pages which honestly when i added it up that was just as expensive as as buying a whole new set of curriculum i think i was saving like 20 bucks um so i just ended up getting separate paper and having them write their answers and practice on paper Colton's is a little bit different. Colton has his own set of paces. These are all the paces he is working on right now. I don't know what this is doing in here. We need to set that up there because that's what we're reading aloud right now. But he has his off-brand Copic markers because he is huge on art. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know this kid is amazing at art. His Sharpies are for drawing as well. All his paces that he's actively working in right now are in here. Um, and then he also has his cursive handbook. He has his all kinds of stuff. What is this? Colton. So right here. So that's Colton, JC, Jolie. They all have the same thing, just kind of different. Colton's is kind of different. Here I have all my planners, all my journals, all my Bible, um, like my Bible scripture journaling that I do. My planner, another planner. Um, I usually have my homeschool planner up here, but I think it's on the table from when I was doing homeschooling earlier. And then I have this. This is our pencil, pen, and marker station. We got all of our pencils that are out right here. The kids know not to get in here and get any of anything until we are out over here. So they come here to get a pencil, come here to get a highlighter or a dry erase marker, and here to get pens. We have all kinds of pens. Um, that's a utensil holder, by the way. <laughs> like a kitchen utensil holder, a mainstays kitchen utensil holder. That's what's holding that. We got our hand sanitizer here. We got, these are some books that Colton likes to read by himself. Spell Across America, we found at Ollie's. Y'all, this thing is awesome. And if you have a kid, ow. If you have a kid who has a issue with spelling, Colton is a phenomenal, phenomenal reader. 
but he does struggle in spelling. He struggles very bad in spelling. Um, I suggest this. We're also going to do some uh, separate spelling like curriculum than just the ACE curriculum because the ACE curriculum doesn't really help Colton spelling wise. Everything else, it's great. We've done it for a really long time. We love it. But the spelling isn't ideal for Colton. Now, that's not to say it's not ideal for the girls. It actually does pretty well for the girls for what they do already. They're only in first grade. Well, first grade. We don't do grades in this house. But on a level, they're on a first grade level. So, it just isn't for Colton. You know, he has ADHD. So, for Colt, he, we have to kind of go a different route than what we would for the girls. So, he has his Among Us book. He's obsessed with that. He's not allowed to play the game, but he can read the books all day long. <laughs> he loves his Minecraft books. I've shared that on Instagram. Um, it's Diary of a Minecraft Zombie. He has four of those, and I think there's 18 in total. So, we just started collecting those. And then right now, he's reading these for school, uh, My Big Fat Zombie Goldfish. He is halfway through the first book. I think there's two box sets, and then there's a vampire goldfish or something like that. I don't know. He knows all about it. Um, down here, we have our extra coloring books, and this is a thing full of crowns. My cookbooks. I don't have a lot of cookbooks because I utilize Pinterest over everything. But they're right there. Got me some Be Strong and Courageous Joshua 1-6. Then I got these books that I just, what is that doing? I don't know. Pikachu's hanging out. These are books that I found at a book outlet for like a dollar a piece. I haven't read any of them yet. Actually, I tried reading that one, but it has some really bad language in it. So I'll probably be tossing that one. Um, I've tried reading this one. I got a little bit into it, but not all the way. Um, I know I'm going to love this one, the color purple. Yeah, no, there's, I have the color purple somewhere. It's in my closet because I was going to start reading it in my closet. I don't know. I, I don't know. It was one of them days. <laughs> so, I got those. <laughs> my wax melts are randomly here. My printer's down here. My Bible stuff is down there. Shane's Copic markers because you guys, if you guys don't know, he's a cartoonist. This is all his stuff. His Copic markers, his pencils, sketching pencils, sketching pens, notebook paper, this big old thing of art supplies. He does that on TikTok. I will leave his TikTok down below if you guys want to check him out. He's really good. And please encourage him, y'all. He, he He's really enjoying that as a hobby. These are all of Colton's extra paces. When he gets done with the paces that are in his bin, he knows to pull out the next one. They're all organized. Um, down here is my Bible stuff. I have all kinds of theology stuff. You guys, if you don't know, I went to school for theology. I have a ton of theology stuff down there, all kinds of Bibles and study tools and stuff like that. So yeah, it's not pretty, but it's organized to me anyway. <laughs> it's not really organized, but it is organized to me. So the girls curriculum is chilling <laughs> up here on my bar because I haven't organized it yet. I need to get it organized and get it in there. I just haven't had the time. We have been cramming school, like, I mean, eight hours a day and usually we don't do that but they have been enjoying what they've been learning and i'm like we're on a roll i ain't about to slow it down now in tennessee legally we only have to do four hours of school and that's not specified on how we do it you guys know a lot of times we don't do sit down work we'll do it outside in the kitchen floor anywhere we want to do it um but they've been enjoying doing it around the table with me and stuff lately so until that stops working for us we're going to keep doing that i also want to show you guys Shane and Colton found these at Ollie's. They're Goosebump Poorland, and it was a box set of all the Goose... It's like a series that spun off of Goosebumps. Um, Shane said there was something like a Goosebumps Horrorland, and this series has spun off that and made that one book into a series of books. I don't know. I'm not... I'm not big on the horror stuff. I actually don't like for Colton to read that stuff, but, you know, Shane and Colton's votes trumped my vote, so he got it. If I notice it starts affecting him though, or affecting this house, if I if I hear one little creak in the middle of the night, we pulling out the Bible, we casting them demons out, <laughs> and we're not reading them anymore. I know y'all laugh at me all the time for saying stuff like that, but y'all don't know the experiences I've had with demonic activity. I mean, coming you're you're talking to somebody who's in ministry, and my forte in ministry is demonic activity and uh, possession and oppression. I know what I'm talking about. I've been there, done that, seen that, heard that, felt that, all that. So, demonic activity is real. And stuff like that can very easily be an open doorway. Um, I've seen little do worse, honestly. Also, ooh, it's about time to shave my mustache again. The lighting is... What are you laughing at? <laughs> you don't have a mustache. Look. 
<laughs> oh, the lighting is a little weird because I've got like these see-through curtains now and it lets a lot of natural light in and it makes it look fuzzy. I need to figure that out. I need to get blinds, honestly. I do need to get blinds. What? Am I gonna have to get the friend shirt out? The hug fight shirt. <laughs> Boy, if you're gonna fight in this house, you're gonna be stuck hugging that person for an hour. With mama's shirt. Oh, let me move the, the whole wheat bread. Oh, I need to weigh myself for y'all. I haven't weighed myself in a while. I need to weigh myself to show y'all how we're doing. I went from low carb to, I went from like dirty keto to low carb to eating right portions. I've been eating bread whole wheat bread I haven't weighed myself that was a full drink I haven't weighed myself <laughs> I haven't weighed myself though because I've been I you know I was weighing myself weekly and then I got afraid like that would start affecting me because I noticed the number was going down slowly because you know when you first start like you lose a bam a lot of weight and then it started going down slowly and I was like oh snap like is this going to affect me I didn't want it to affect me to make me like do something weird like crash diet or like eat a tapeworm to lose weight because I, I went down a rabbit hole one day couldn't find out people eat tapeworms to lose weight. Well, back in the day, I wouldn't have been above that, but I'm above that now. <laughs> so, I didn't want it to start affecting me like that. I didn't want to go on the black market looking for some tapeworms. So, I stopped weighing myself. So, I haven't weighed myself in about two and a half weeks. So, I'm anxious. Y'all know I'm not doing this to get snatched. I'm already snatched. Actually, I'm not. But, you know, in my mind, I'm okay. Like, I want to get healthy. I'm doing it for my kids. I'm doing it for Shane because they need me. They cannot function without me. What? No, I'm not talking to the bread. I'm talking to the people. So, I need to do that real quick here in a minute. What did I get on here to tell y'all? Oh, I am so tired of people getting on here on this platform and being, this is what momhood looks like. This is what motherhood looks like. And they have the makeup on. They have the long, luscious, beautiful hair. They look gorgeous. <laughs> They're wearing Michael Kors shoes. <laughs> They're toting that Louis Vuitton bag. They and their house is spotless, and their kids aren't loud, and they, they believe in that whole thing, children should be seen and not heard. Honey, when you're in my house, you gonna hear my kids before you see them. <laughs> you gonna know they're coming. I'm not on here. I see, all, I see a lot of comments saying, thank you for normalizing messy houses. I'm not on here to just normalize laziness. I'm not on here to normalize necessarily messy houses. I'm on here to normalize Real life mamahood, real life homeschooling or not, full time working, stay at home, homeschooling, traditional schooling, unschooling. I'm here to normalize what that looks like for me. And what that looks like for me is let me show you. This is what it looks like for me. I have not washed my hair, it is literally a Brillo pad right now. It stays in one piece. I got a naked child on the I got a dog with what is being said in his mouth. No, nah, 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 no, nah, no. Nah. This might not be what motherhood looks like for you, but it's what it looks like for me. Let me show you. Like, people. Y'all, do y'all not have clutter in your house? That's my question to them. Do y'all not have, y'all don't have a laundry pile? A mutated laundry pile stuff on your floor like I right now looking down here I have a frozen shoe I have a hair bow what is this I think this is stuffing out of one of my new and expensive pillows just laying in the floor my hair is matted like I just pulled out a chunk of my hair because my hair is matted my table we had to scoot over the, the clothes to do school today does this not happen to anybody else? Is it just me? It cannot be just me. So I'm here to normalize. Hey, this is what mama hood looks like for me. It might not look like this for anybody else in the world, but I ain't gonna feel bad because my mama hood is me yelling over my kids to try to get y'all to hear me and someone else's kids are to be seen and not heard. No, I ain't gonna feel bad because you can hear my kids. I love hearing my kids. Come here. Are you little Ryan hood? I'm a little Ryan hood. <laughs> I love hearing my kids. That's the soundtrack to my life. When I hear them laugh, 
I'm like, man, I'm doing something wrong. My house is destroyed. My hair is a matted up mess. But are you happy? That's what, that's what I'm taking to my grave. Look at this. <laughs> that's what I'm taking to my grave with me. That I raised some daggone kind humans. Some happy humans. Some humans that are going to remember <laughs> mama playing with them. And loving on them, right? So you can tell me motherhood looks like this. Motherhood looks like that. What are you doing? Are you vlogging me? You can tell me motherhood looks like all that stuff. Well, this is what motherhood looks like to me, and I love it. I wouldn't trade it for nothing in the world. I would never trade my fun, happy, spunky, kind, unique, wonderful kids for kids who are terrified to laugh too loud. Are you kidding me? No, laugh as loud as you wanna laugh. Laugh in the middle of Walmart. You have something that brings you that much joy. Mama has brought you that much joy that you're gonna laugh like that. Laugh, baby, laugh. Okay, all right, that's enough. I'm saying there's my off the soap box. I'm a little bit shorter now, just saying. So I have had a tremendous amount of you ask me to get a PO box. I'm having difficulty doing that because honestly, we only have one car. Shane works crazy hours. Um, I don't have a way to get to the post office and I tried doing it online and they wouldn't let me do it online. So what I did for right now is I created, please don't think I've gotten like, please don't think I've went Kardashian on you guys. What I've done is I've made an Amazon wish list. Please no, please no, listen, please no, please no. I do not expect anybody to send me anything. Somebody has already sent me stuff and I didn't even talk about this in my last video. I just put it in the description box. Somebody went to my description box, saw it and bought me stuff. Whoever you are, is that something that broke? No. Okay, whoever you are, please know that you did not have to do that. I am humbled by it. You did not have to do that, friend. Um, please don't feel, I've just had a ton of people ask me and I, I'm not just saying that. You can ask anybody on here who's been here for a while. It has been a very, very popular subject that I get a wish list and that I get a P.O. box. Um, so this is not just me pulling it up saying, oh, now I'm, I feel like I'm, I deserve it. No, 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 no. Listen, a lot of YouTubers make their subscribers. You guys aren't my subscribers. Y'all are my friends. But a lot of YouTubers make their subscribers feel guilty. And they're like, you know what? I don't owe you anything. No, I owe y'all the world like i owe y'all a lot y'all have stuck by me y'all have been here y'all have loved me when nobody else on the planet but shane and my kids and my nanny and my mama loved me oh y'all the world y'all this isn't one-sided and i always say it i'll say it until youtube is not a thing this is not a one-man show. This is a community that you and I have both created. This is a accepting, encouraging, you got this, we're rooting for you, we're in your corner kind of community. And that's not a community made by me. That's a community made by us. So please know when I get on here and say there's a wish list link down below, that is not me asking you to go get me anything. That is not me begging you to, to make me feel relevant and buy me all the nice things. No, guys, listen. I have stuff on there that are like shirts. I have stuff on there, cause y'all know I don't have a ton of shirts. Um, I'm slowly getting shirts, hallelujah. That's why y'all always see me in this shirt. <laughs> but um, I'm slowly getting shirts. I did a, you know, I'll show you guys that. I got a few shirts on Amazon. Um, I just don't have shirts. I have stuff like shirts all the way down to, I think someone bought me a sink caddy, um, which makes my day. I think somebody literally bought me a sink caddy and that made, I'm not about to cry over a sink caddy. Just know that whoever, please, whoever did that, whoever bought those things for me, you know what it is. Um, please either put it down below or if you want to remain anonymous, uh, send me a DM on Instagram so I can at least thank you. Also, if you tried DMing me and I haven't been able to get back to you because I have about 45 unread message requests right now. Uh, if I haven't been able to get back to you, keep messaging me. I tell people you have, keep spamming me. I tell people that you have my permission to spam the far out of me. That's how I see it. If your, if your message keeps coming up, that's how I see it. And that's how I get to it and answer it. So please, if you did buy those for me, please at least go over there if you want to remain anonymous. And I'll, I'll really want to thank you for buying those three things for me. Especially when I didn't even, I don't even know how you found out about it. Y'all are the best friends ever. That's not because you buy things for me. That is because you listen to me. Like right now I'm rambling and I guarantee you there's 3,000 people 
within like a day or something that'll be sitting there to have listened to me and listened to me like with an open heart and cared about how I feel so I want to thank you for that listen I've had some subscribers do some very kind things for me I've had a subscriber who wanted to remain anonymous they literally sent me a $50 Walmart gift card without asking or anything sent it to me for Christmas and they don't know what that did for my family they have no idea what that they did nobody will know but me and Shane what that did for my family at Christmas time I've had someone offer to buy me a dishwasher they wanted to buy me a dishwasher and remain anonymous and whenever people asked about it just tell them Jesus bought it you don't meet those kinds of people guy that's not someone you meet every day that's the community that you guys have built it's not me that's what you guys have done to the world y'all are making a difference we are making a difference in people's lives one person at a time i'm getting how many I, i'm getting i don't know how many subscribers a day y'all these are people who are like who say to me if you'll read the comments on a daily basis like what no i've never seen a channel like this your 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 subscribers are so genuine they're so welcoming they're so kind y'all are holding full-blown conversations in the comments y'all are encouraging each other in the comments that's not on every youtube video that's not on this platform that's rare that's a unicorn on this platform right now guys i said all that to say this i'm thankful for you and you don't owe me a daggone thing you don't owe me nothing I just want to be your friend. I just want to be there for you. I just enjoy your company. I, do, I didn't have anybody to share things with before now. YouTube has changed my life. And while I do accrue money from YouTube now, it's not in a financial way. It is in a heart matter. Like, y'all have done things to my heart that no one's ever done before. And I couldn't thank you enough for that. Okay, before I cry, I'm going to get on the scale. I don't know. Maybe the scale will make me cry. We don't know. We shall see. I may or may not have been crying. <laughs> um, that <laughs> I was what three eighteen, I think, in my last one. So that's about four pounds, six pounds. What am I doing? My math. Y'all have me all like every time away. <laughs> that's not bad for for two and a half weeks. It's not a lot, but I mean, I'm not going to. As long as the scale's still going down, right? Right? As long as the scale's still going down. All right. I love you guys. I got to go work on two videos. There will not be a, a video up Wednesday because I have two very huge videos um, coming out with some of my best friends uh, Thursday and Friday. So, I uh, hope you all have a blessed morning, evening, night, whatever it is, wherever you're at. Please continue to spread kindness everywhere you go, even to the person who cuts you off in the school line even to that that mean old commenter that comments on your video show them kindness because you really do kill them with kindness you really do that kindness will eat at them and they, it might not at first but it follows them wherever they go they can't get away from the love of jesus so i love you jesus loves you more and i will see y'all thursday i hope you have a blessed morning evening night whatever it is wherever you are at